Welcome to the third webinar in Charthouse's new series on how to maximize your cash flow in 2021. I assume you are all here because you are interested in maximizing your cash flow. Uh, so there will be a Q&A at the end uh, of the webinar. So please pop in your questions into the chat box and we will do our best to answer them for you. So introduce us. So we're Charterhouse. Uh, we're based in Harrow, uh, been around for about 50 years with 50 staff uh, just on Harrow on the hill. Uh, I have David, our managing director here with us today. Uh, you can see him waving there. And we have our marketing manager, uh, Owen Hughes, who will be firing the questions to us at, at, in the Q&A. So who am I? I'm Jem, like the diamond. So call me Jem, uh, the youngest associate at Charterhouse Accountants and I led the transformation to cloud accounting and onboarded our first digital tax client way back when and took Charterhouse to platinum zero status within a year of doing so and we now have well over 700 clients on zero and I couldn't do that without my guest presenter here today Rishi from zero who will also be presenting uh, alongside me today. So without going, spending too much time in introductions, let's get on with the webinar. So what is the biggest your biggest challenge with cash flow management of your business? I know everyone here today is interested in the subject of maximizing your cash flow in 2021, but we're con in constant dialogue with our clients and some of the things that they mention that they're struggling with is getting cash flow forecasting, uh, challenges with getting customers to pay on time, uh, knowing when they need additional funds to expand their business. Uh, do you know when you need to finance or whether you can actually buy a, a new machine uh, cash? So this is with this webinar, we're going to show you how you can get enough financial information at your fingertips to help you make informed decisions about running your business. What you'll get from today. Keep close control of your cash flow using any digital devices, including your smartphone. How to get real time information about your business performance. And the applications that will support cash generation in your business. So. That sounds good, right? So let's get into it. What are the benefits of cloud accounting? So these are generally bigger picture benefits, which will resonate with some of you more than others. And some benefits will be like, oh, really good. Not really relevant to me. But generally, there's great time saving. On average, there's around 89 hours per year saved per client by accountants because of cloud accounting. So are you benefiting from this? Is your accountant spending more time giving you proactive advice because of this time saving? No more paperwork. How many times have you lost an invoice and your accountant has said to you, we can't claim the VAT on that because we haven't got the invoice. So capturing invoices, be able, being able to upload that onto the system instantly and everything being online, it's a fantastic benefit to have. Cash flow forecasting. So when can I, as mentioned earlier, when can I buy that new machine that will make me 10% more efficient? When do I need to borrow more funds? Do I need to take out a loan? You need, this will, all this information is at your fingertips with real time information. So knowing your accounting status at any point in time, smartphone on the go, you can see your accounting dashboard and your accountant can see the same information as you. So for example, if you're struggling with something and you're not sure if I should code this to your what expense code you should be expensing it to you can both be looking at the same information at the same time which is fantastic benefit immediate management accounts for loan applications in these difficult times things people want to make loan applications and having up-to-date information at your fingertips again is such a great benefit to have Review profitability of your revenue streams. If you've got different revenue streams, you're selling pots and pans, cutlery, which one's more profitable? These are the benefits that you can have, which will then lead to more proactive advice from your accountant. And again, the real reason we're here today is reducing your debt as days, getting that cash in. So 
an example we've got is one of our clients who was an electrician and he was owed lots and lots of money. We were talking hundred thousand pounds over like 80 days of debts that hasn't been paid to him. He's struggling with paying his, his bills because he's not getting paid. It's causing marital problems. There's just a lot of stress on his head. So it was like, okay, what solutions do we have? We introduced him to zero. We put him on other applications that assisted him. We reduced his debt of days from around 80 to 30. Imagine 50 days of cash that was just sitting there that was owed to him come in instantly. So that's saved his marriage effectively, let's put it that way. So he's a very happy customer now. So moving on to the reason we're all here today, how can we maximize our cash flow? One of the quickest and easiest ways to improve your cash flow is to set up a pay now button on all your invoices. This allows your customers to pay you directly from your invoice without the hassle of going into their bank, finding your bank details, copy and paste. Oh, it took too long. I've logged out of my bank. I have to log back in. Oh, uh, just you want your customers to find the payment process as simple and stress free as possible. Think about how simple it is to pay Amazon. Literally swipe your finger and it's done. You, how does that make you feel as a consumer? You feel happy. Take my money. It's just, you don't even feel like you're making a payment. It's, it's an enjoyable process. So with the pay now button, you can set up many different payment options such as credit card, PayPal, direct debit. You simply choose the best one that suits you and your customers. What we have found with our customers that are using this at the moment, the pay now button has had a real, really positive impact on their debt days, reducing the time it's taken to receive payment from the date of raising the invoice from around 84 days to 32 days. Imagine what you could do with all that extra cash in the bank. You've worked for that. You're owed that money. So why should you not have that money? Then there are those which have gone that extra step and added a go cardless or stripe and these are the customers that have seen further reductions to around 12 days so go cardless so a uh, payment service such as go cardless offers simple ways to collect debt owed to you without the need to of those awkward conversations chasing debts oh you owe me this money oh was that invoice raised just it's it's not a nice conversation to have so you set it up once and through the power of direct debit all future invoices are collected within the payment terms of the invoice. This means less hassle for you and your customers. No one needs to worry if an invoice has been paid. This is all automated with notifications being sent to your customers, advising them that the amount will be coming out of their account on the due date. And this seamlessly links with zero, and you can reconcile all of your invoices at the click of a button, meaning you get paid on time every time. And you can see from the dashboard there, you're going to get paid this amount on this day. Imagine how that makes your cash flow and your how you feel knowing that I'm going to get that money on this day. It just makes you able to plan for the future. And that leads nicely onto applications such as Fluidly. And this is a cash flow forecasting application, which helps us advise our clients on planning those big cash expenditures. So seeing which revenue stream is bringing in the cash and which is draining the cash. Using this tool, we're able to advise our clients in planning the future growth of their business. So here you can see Big Bang Burger normally pays six days late. So you can kind of plan for that and know when the cash is coming in. And this is an example of a 12-month forecast where we can advise on those difficult business decisions. Should I buy that new piece of machinery? Should I increase my prices by 10%? What impact will that have? We're able to forecast that using the information from your zero, which feeds into Fluidly seamlessly and is constantly updating. If we can see that the cash is drying up, we can make recommendations on how to get cash injection into your business for those important steps to grow your business. So you can see how it comes across and we can have those conversations with you and advising you into how this works. So now while looking at forecasting, if you're struggling to get the cash in and want to outsource your cash collection, one option is 
Capitalize. So Capitalize is one of our partners who we work with that helps our clients with such matters like invoice factoring, is selling basically your control of your accounts receivable. Effectively, you receive a percentage, say 80% of your outsourced outstanding debtors up front and your customers pay the financing company directly. Once all sums are received, you take a pre-agreed percentage and you don't worry about chasing your debtors. This is quite an aggressive approach, but it's an approach people take. Then refinancing, so raising finance through existing assets by refinancing a loan against current equipment. So that's another option to get quick cash in and Capitalize can help you with that. Recovery and resolution. So before writing off debts, why not look to see if you can recover it? Capitalize recovers, recovery goes beyond credit control and looks to resolve the issues with payment. So now the moment I think everyone's been waiting for, uh, Rishi from Zero will be sharing his top tips on how to get the most out of your Zero subscription. So over to you, Rishi. Um, so the solution we're talking about today, and, and this is the starting point of um, any any sort of cash flow management, um, what, what Gem has spoken about is the, the sort of the foundation levels followed by the different levels of making sure that cash comes in faster. This is the bare minimum every every business should try and do. So first one is utilizing uh, invoice payments. So with zero, you can um, set up pay now buttons like like Gem said on your invoices. So when an invoice is received um, by the client, firstly, you get information on your zero system that someone's opened the invoice. Secondly, they get a pay now button, which removes those barriers. Um, there are a number of payment payment functions you could add on there. Stripe, Go Cardless, PayPal is, are, are three of the main ones. Um, when we first introduced it, it reduced debtor days from around 43 days down to 28. Um, but it is essentially allowing businesses to get paid up to twice as fast as they used to get paid. Um, for me, it's, it's key. Um, it's the key starting point to get as uh, get your finances in order and get the finance into the business as quickly as possible. You've also got, um, so they, these are the other payment services. The uh, at Marketplace has Payment Express, eWay, PayPal, WorldPay. Um, WorldPay is quite, quite new to a zero input integration. Um, Stripe does debit and credit card. GoCardless is your um, direct debit. Go cardless takes it one step further, so you don't even need to have um, the, the, the client put their card in on a regular basis. It's done by direct debit. Stripe, you can do the same, so you can set up automatic payments. So, for example, I'm going to sound really middle class here. I have a coffee subscription, and I see my money coming out by Stripe every every two weeks. Um, so I get the ten pound fee every two weeks for my coffee by Stripe. Um, luckily, the people I buy the coffee from are on zero, so I'm really happy with that. Um, and I've also started introducing that coffee to everyone else. Um, Go Cardless allows international payments in, in domestic payments. The fee structure is not too expensive, so it's it's a maximum of 2.1% plus 20 pence. So uh, again, it's it's uh, sorry, 1.1% plus 20 pence. So it's a maximum of, of a payment. It's 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 a really good solution, especially if you've got regular payments coming out. Um, I I try and get as many of the accounts I work with to go on to go cardless because it saves both their time and their clients' time. And I would love for every one of my payments to be go cardless because it would just save me so much time. I have service charges that I have to pay for um, my flat, and they ask me for the payment manually. I have to remember to go into my bank and I've got to log into my bank account. I've got to remember that it's this amount. I can't set up a standing order because first direct don't like to set up a standing order on, on an original payment. So you've got to do that manually. It's just a nightmare. I would rather it just go out. I swear I would rather it just go out. Um, and I am your typical future client where I just want the, the, the reduction of a barrier to pay you. Stripe. Simple, easy. Apple Pay as well. Apple Pay takes it one step further, so I don't even need to. I don't even need to use anything. Um, I'm the type of guy that uses Monzo for my bank account and sends everyone a link of taking money from me. So this Apple Pay service is, is beautiful for me. 
there's also, also other things within Zero that can help you. So there's a short-term cash flow report that gives you data on um, amounts owed within the next seven days and, and a nice clean report. So something you can talk to your accountant with. Um, so a seven-day summary, 30-day summary, just to see what's happening. Um, we've also got invoice reminders. And these are key. Uh, what we found doing research is your clients need a little bit, bit of a nudge to, to pay you. It's not that they don't want to pay you. It's sometimes they forget to pay you. So having a reminder to say, oh, by the way, uh, um, Mr. and Mrs. Client, your invoice is due today. Um, and I just need to run payroll. If you could pay that as soon as possible, I greatly appreciate it. Just a nice little message to your client that's automated in the background. Um, and the client gets in and goes, yep, I'll pay it. It'll give them a link to the invoice and then they can go into the invoice, click the pay now button, done. You can then escalate it. So seven days overdue, 14 days overdue, 21 days overdue. And you can escalate that message a bit on, on that as well. So the, the message can be, look, you're seven days late. We need to run payroll. Um, cash flow is a bit tight. Can you help me out? And you can make these sound as human as possible. So it's not an autom it is an automated message, but it's an automated message that you've tailored. So it helps your client understand how it's affecting your business and that's i think the key the key part of this it's not just one of these automated um please pay us here it's look, there's a message here hi dave just need need the money as soon as possible because xxx and then we have a quote um there's a, a really good accountant that i know uh, called he's, he's a he's a bit of a diamond he calls himself um and he said zero has really improved our processes and allowed us to work uh, be much more advisory focused in the work with our clients the invoice reminders featured uh, coupled with go cardless or stripe has been a game changer for many of our clients allowing them to concentrate on getting business in and improve quality the quality control instead of worrying about the next check coming through the post again it, 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 this may be a bit of a, a sort of a con controversial conversation but I, I got my dad to stop accepting checks um he, he has a textile business and i said to him that you will only accept bank transfer now because the check takes so long Someone needs to post it. You're having to wait for that whole process. Just, just have a have a, a, a bank transaction. He's on zero, so he's got pay now button on his invoices, and the, the transaction happens from there. Um, that that is key. Remove those barriers is, is my key point on this. Back to Jim. So, what have we learned today? We've learned how to make our accounts work for us how cloud accounting can improve our cash flow and removing those uncomfortable and difficult conversations with customers when chasing debts. So this is, these are the key. And as, as Rishi mentioned, removing the barriers, let's make the payment process as simple and easy for our customers. So if you make the decision to invest in cloud accounting, you now know how to make it work for you. So how can we help? How can Charterhouse help you? So we're offering a complimentary consultation to anyone who's been here today looking to switch your current looking to switch your current platform or enhancing your current cloud software with a view of giving you a clarity on your tax positions. So we will review your software and we will be giving 12 months half price zero subscription to everyone who's joined here today. And if they open up a if they join as a client and open up a zero account. Uh, Rishi has kindly offered to pay half of everyone's subscriptions. So that's fantastic. So this is no, there's uh, no better time to join now. And as you can tell, Dave is very happy with that, Rishi. So thank you. Uh, so how you can get in touch. So you can get in contact with myself, our details, and uh, we'll be emailing you after the webinar. And you can register your interest in booking your complimentary consultation and going on with uh, booking uh, your zero account. That leads nicely onto a Q&A, which hopefully people have been filling in some questions and Owen will be feeding them over to us. And I believe Rishi will be helping answer some of those questions. Uh, my my favourite is Square Mile. Um, they're based out in the Walthamstow area now. Um, genuinely the best. Get the, get the red brick um it's it's a seasonal coffee that they blend together he's converted me uh, as well and i only <laughs> drink uh, red brick now and he's costing me 10 pound every two weeks as well now
So, uh, like I said on 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 the call, the the barriers reduction um, within the invoices are the pay now function and um, the the ability to set up a direct debit um, that's triggered by the invoice. Um, you've also got, and I, I didn't mention it in here. You've also got for regular invoices, you can set up a, a repeating invoice or a recurring invoice, and that will automatically trigger a Stripe or a Go Cardless um, pull. So th there are there are a number of ways. We also integrate to um, some of the invoice financing companies to save you time on the application process. Um, unfortunately, Capitalize isn't one of them at the moment, um, but you've got then the option of using one of the apps that we uh, integrate to or um, using uh, Gem's, Gem's example of Capitalize where Charterhouse will help you get the Capitalize invoice financing. So that the, the, what we do is remove a barrier from that process because they want to see the reports of your business and it's easy to pull those reports out of zero and post them up to these invoice financing houses. I think I'll go with this one because this has been uh, a bugbear of a lot of people. Effectively, you, you pay your accountant to give you advice, not to sit there and just type in data. It's it's not it's not worth anything. You're not gaining anything from paying your accountant to sit there and type in your your bank statement and key in your invoices. This is now all automated. Your bank feed is directly going into your uh, zero account through open banking as well. So as soon as you make a payment, it's automatically coming into your zero. And if you then say you go to uh, Tops Tiles, buy some tiles, because that's what I was doing the other day. So that's the one that's come to my mind. Uh, so you buy the tiles, you've got the invoice, you take a picture of the invoice, it's on zero. It's also then your payments coming out of your bank. It's matching, you just click a button and it's done. There's You're not paying someone to sit there, type in, tops tiles how much and it removes the manual error human error effectively that's there so that's a great time saving one of the most simplest ways so i'll, I'll pick up on that as well so there uh, i was i was talking to someone yesterday who's been watching the wonderful mrs mazel and noticed that in that show it's in the 50s and 60s there was a, a manual person handing bowling balls back to the bowlers and if you think about that, that's that's where some accounting and bookkeeping still is, where there's a process where there is an automation, but they're not using it. They're just manually typing stuff in. So when you go to a bowling alley, right, well, not right now because it's all closed, but when you re return to one by 2026, you'll have the, the bowling balls returned to you properly through an automated method. And that's the way to think about the change. So it's it's you've just taken away a, a role that didn't need to be there, but what does need to be there is analysis of the data to give you advice on how to how to make these changes in your business. That's a very valid question. My nan uses zero. I think that's probably answers quite a lot of questions. She's now joined Face, as she likes to call Facebook. Uh, she's on Face, and she knows how to use zero. So it's it's very simple. It's there's not a million and one buttons that you need to click on to do things. It's quite easy. It's quite nice as well. As soon as something reconciles, it lights up green. Just press the button, a bit of satisfaction. So it's it's not rocket science. If anyone is struggling with using it and doesn't know how to use it properly or would like some training, we do offer training for anyone who is uh, looking to do zero. Uh, and also there are webinars on Zero's website as well where you can watch them for free. But again, if you want a tailored uh, training, then we offer that. So zero does cover multiple <clears throat> multiple currencies. I don't know the exact number of currencies. I think the majority of the the most common ones. Uh, all, of them. all of them. Oh, yeah. Great. So if you want a Norwegian krona, it's there. Um, yeah. The it's, we 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 haven't got Bitcoin at the moment. Um, but the, what we've got is an, uh, an hourly update from XE.com. Um, so every invoice that you raise in a certain currency, it will be at the currency of that hour. If you backdate that invoice because you were meant to have done it two days ago, it will backdate it to the closing rate of that day. 
there you go. So that answers the first part. And the license issue, you buy one license per company with unlimited number of users. So if you have three companies, you have three licenses. If you have 10 companies, you have 10 licenses. So yes, you will need multiple licenses. And there is, I believe, 5%. Right. Discount, which is applied automatically. So you need to have, when you sign up to Zero, you'll use the same email address and then it comes onto your bill that way. So you can log in using that one email address onto all of your different company accounts as well. So we're we're an open system, so we're more than happy to um, to do to work with anyone with integrations. Um, I'll type it into into the chat. So if you get your developers to go into developer.zero.com, we have what is uh, called an open API. Um, that's one of the other features of Zero. So this open API allows you to push information or pull information from the software. Um, you can do it privately or you could do it with a, a merchant service like, like you've got on here. Um, we don't do out, outward integrations with anything. So you would need to integrate to us, um, but the API is open. There's no fee to join the API um, um, to have the services interlinked. Um, there's no fee on, on that. Um, there might be for um, card services. So you'll need to check with um, our, our, our partnerships team on that. Um, but if you get your team to go to developer.zero.com, they'll have access to the API tables. Um, they'll also get a, a partner account manager that they can talk to about the commercials on that. So the good thing about that for everyone is that the opportunities are endless really, isn't it? With Zero because it's open and people, even private companies, a bit like the Apple App Store, people just opening new applications and kind of finding neat solutions for everyday issues that people are having. Yeah, so at last count, there was eight, 800 different um, applications that interlinked to Xero. Um, and, it, and this is anything from payment services to um, ERP style stock services um, to hire equipment. So if you if you hire, um, you know, equipment out or DJ equipment out, you can have a system that automatically does that for you as well. Zero was born and bred on the cloud. At the time when we were looking at solutions, it was what's the one that's best suitable, that's gonna be moving forward the quickest. Zero was only ever been on the cloud. It's been winning awards left, right and center, not just for accounting, but as an IT software provider. And for me, it was the case that I've looked at the other softwares and they've been trying to move the desktop version online, which has been, difficult because it's very bloated and there's a lot of software has been clunky and they weren't they were still trying to use the old way of doing things whereas zero's kind of come up with a way of just changing the whole process from start to finish and it's just been so seamless and again with the assistance that we've had from the likes of rishi it's just been very easy to be able to train our staff on the software to be able to become a more proactive advisor and there's just been a lot more opportunities that we found with uh, being a partner at Zero. So you've got my details on there. Just give me a call or send me an email. I will be sending an email to everyone following the webinar uh, with the slides and contact details for everyone to be able to drop me an email and say, look, happy to have a conversation with anyone. So you have my email and my contact details are there for anyone to get in contact. Thank you everyone, uh, thanks for coming. So if anyone does have any further questions that didn't get answered, please uh, uh, drop me an email and you're all more than welcome to have your complimentary one hour consultation where we can advise you on enhancing the digitization to making managing your business finances easy for you. So, and those who sign up, uh, again, Rishi will be paying 50% of your zero subscription for the first year. So to book your consultation, just send me an email or with a suitable time for you. And I'll, you will also be receiving an email from me uh, where you can respond for a time that will suit you. Uh, any final words of wisdom, Rishi? Or uh, just, just on that 50%, um, it's 50% if they go through Charterhouse, otherwise it doesn't count for me.
<laughs> correct. That's true. Yes. Yes. Correct. Very well said. Uh, so thank you for joining and keep an eye out for the next webinar in this series. Uh, do let us know if there's anything specific uh, that you would like covered any, in the future. So any topics that you've seen today that you thought, oh, do you know what? I'd like to know more about that. Do just drop me an email and we'll kind of see what there is out there. But do keep an eye out. Thank you all for joining.